good morning or afternoon, depending on when and where you are watching this. I'm your host, Chase Majerus. Hey, did you hear about this article that The Independent wrote where they talked about millennials' loyalty to their current job? Yeah, millennials and loyalty. While that sounds like the setup to a Tinder joke, it's actually pretty interesting. Apparently, we like money, so yeah, that's a start. But millennials want to work for a business that improves society, like possibly getting people into their homes. Nonetheless, over half of those youngins with jobs reported that they believe the number one priority of their business is generating profits. Wow, that doesn't sound like big business at all. Anyways, this is This Week Today, the only short and understandable weekly economic video update brought to you by Synergy One Lending. Let's get after it. As younger and more tech-conscious consumers hit the home buying market, there has been a shift in focus towards a more convenient way to buy a home. One of the major changes that has already been seen is on the online mortgage platform, which allows users to apply for a mortgage without having to meet or call a loan officer. In response to the financial crisis 10 years ago, loan production costs were drastically raised due to strict regulation. By introducing technological automation effectively, this creates a more cost-friendly approach to loan production, not only for lenders, but for borrowers as well. Word to the rookie homeowners, though. Tech advancements, they're terrific, but there is no substitute for the expertise of a professional loan officer. Wow, so the Crapo bill finally passed. Oh, excuse me, I'm not swearing at the bill. It's just that author and Senate Banking Committee Chair Mike Crapo has had this bill floating around for over a year and Congress finally voted to flush, I'm sorry, finally voted to pass it. One major point to the bill, it would increase the threshold for a bank to qualify as a systemically important financial institution, which places additional stress on their business. That's literally and figuratively since after approval, the Fed regularly puts actual financial stress tests on these SIFI businesses to examine their ability to weather monetary and economic downturns without causing a threat to the larger economy. First off on your economic calendar update, happy Memorial Day. Today is the day we fire up the grill, get stuck in traffic on the way home from a long weekend, but most importantly, remember those who died in active military duty. We thank you for your service. Bit of a busy economic work week with index releases up the wazoo including home price indexes on Tuesday and Thursday, consumer confidence survey results on Tuesday, MBA mortgage applications in the beige book on Wednesday, and rounding out our week with construction spending on Friday. By the way, I recently found out that the beige book got its name because the summary and analysis of economic activity and conditions is in a beige-covered book. Go figure. Other than that, that's basically it for this week today. If you're looking to be a homeowner, check out Synergy One on social media or head to s1lending.com and find your Synergy One loan officer or get pre-approved online. I'm your host, Chase Majerus. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Instagram. Have a classy week, planet Earth. <laughs>